Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the filtering. So basically what I'm doing is that I'm going to loop through the cost tag, which is the tag that we are using for the drop down. So um, what I do is that I'm going to actually loop through all of this coming from the JSON file and this is just the tag which is some of them coming from here that has got the same things so say we are coming from the react or uh, react native react the complete cost react js hooks cost so this cost uh, causes coming from all of this actually coming from just one tag which is react basically what i did is that i just grouped them together into just one tag and say this one is oop then it's going to be like uh, object oriented programming and there's another one as well which is here c sharp classes and oop so this is um the purpose of having the tag which can be grouped together and then um we're going to use this as drop down and when saying clicking on say javascript and it's going to filter this information. So now let's have a look into the code. And before getting started, I'm going to uh, mention about uh, what I'm going to do is that a little bit different from previous videos. Uh, what I'm doing right here is that I try to complete all the code and then um, I'm going to show you what the code does rather than just starting from scratch and then typing all those things. So this uh, hopefully going to save some time as well all right so now let's jump into the codes and see um, what i have done so basically this is the json file which is uh, the same as previous video that coming from the countries.json extra so here um, i define having as a id uh, cost also the tag for each cost so as you can see like this is the react tutorial the tag is uh, react um, java programming tag is java and python python um, bootcamp and in this case um, for python i only okay i include two right here for java probably uh, two and yep so this is what um, the cost look like the JSON file look like. So right now, let's jump into the index.js, which is the main file that we are going to look into this. And I'm going to explain you a little bit before uh, we go into the rest of the code. So here is the code that uh, previously we did, did not have this. So component did mount, uh, and you can already see that this is here. Uh, I get the JSON file coming directly into the render file. So for best practices is that we should use something like this. So what it does is that when our web or website is loaded, it first look into this uh, component did mount. And when it see something like say right here, I just want to get the information coming from this JSON file and it I just want to put it into a variable right here, which is causes. And then I set that causes into a causes variable where I define on top of here. And because we are using JSON file, so it's going to be storing into an array format. So now we have already got, uh, got this one right here. So what about the other things? All right. So, um, here we can say that I try to loop through all of this from JSON file, which we already seen on the interface. And here is the um, coming from the unique cost. So because if we are not using this function right here, coming from the getting from the tag, which is um, right here if we are not going to use that things then it's going to show you like everything so um, to show you what I mean by that is that I'm going to copy uh, try to replace this into say this dot state dot causes 
so this cost is actually coming from these things which already I show you just now it set it into courses and then we use that courses and loop through that and show it as a drop down so right here you can see that there's like a 20 records right here which is the same as this so this is a reason why um, we are using the remove filter just to get the unique value and then we can use that as drop down for the filtering all of this information this is the purpose of using that so now I'm gonna uh, reverse back to previous right so here again this is the value that we are going to get and also um, next here is the I loop that coming from the tag so this is the tag that we want uh, we showed us uh, coming from all of these things and then the value actually coming that we want is the tag as well next thing here is uh, we're going to loop all of this so we are coming from it's coming from tag uh, coming from courses so basically loop through all of this and show everything uh, as shown here so what's next is the submit um, button so this is the submit button so as in here why is that I'm going to use that so to show you what it does is that I try to create a function for that as well so here um, handle the submit courses and whatever that store inside this variable um, the cost then when we click on this button we click on this button it going to display you what the selected value is and also this is the handle change cost um, so when I try to change anything coming from this drop down it going to take effects and set it into the cost so this can be cost tagged but um, not really like a uh, actual cost uh, this is like the tag of the cost so just to make it clear that uh, you won't get confused coming uh, seeing all of this information okay so um, what I'm going to do is that I try to do some things like filtering out but it does not things so the reason is that I need to write a function to do the trick so um, see you again in just uh, minutes alright so this is the function that I just wrote and you can see that just within these two line of code basically it's like three lines of code then we can actually use the filter feature so um, what this uh, filter does is that we try to loop through all of the courses um, and then we try to filter out the courses which is coming from here and then what L is that uh, this is the result of the filter so what it does it try to return the result which is the courses dot um, tagged which is all of this tagged and then see if it actually equal or the same as the tag that we choose which is the cost tag if it um, equal of that then it going to return into this uh, variable which is we are going to use it now um, so what I want to put is that I try to put it into this cost because if we are not going to replace this it's going to show like all courses so right now I just put it under the filter drop down whatever that much the text here it going to filter the information which we can actually see it right now so I'm going to choose OOP and then it filter out the cost with the tag of OOP right here so this is the process of how the filter um, does as seen right here so um, what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to um, add a little bit of space in between so it's easy for you to actually see what happened so I'm going to put like 10% uh, 10 pixel for as the margin and again here is this information as shown and when I try to refresh it you notice that there's nothing coming up here and but the thing is that it show by default uh, as react 
so which is the reason why I create this um, button as well so right here when I try to click on this button you see that there is no value at all because when I try to loop it by default right here so try to loop all the courses and then the thing is that there's nothing has been selected because when we try to change any um, drop down right here it going to try to call this um, function which uh, actually handled by this action so here when we try to uh, choose a new drop down then it's going to call this information but by default there's nothing show uh, there's nothing at all and it just loops through because of using the uh, component did mount this is the reason why at least we try to change something else so when say i choose uh, op and try to click on the submit button then it's going to call that information or this uh, on chain function so this is a reason um, as seen here all right so that how this information or this video is all about but before we finishing up this video i'm going to inspect you and inspect this application and see if there's an error okay so here as you can see that uh, this is like a warning that saying each child each child's in a list should have a unique key prompt so because we are not using like a key uh, property inside basically the uh, map function then it going to show you this issue so what i need to do is that i need to type the key property and then with this cost id which is loop through each of this so after doing that when we go back and we're going to see that the uh, warning sign has already gone so um that's how we saw this issue and i think that um this video is all about it um that we have already looked into how to look through all of this and uh, getting the information filter out as we want based on the tag so um if you guys really want me to do another uh, filtering out say by the button so um we have got like say uh button coming from uh, react uh, op java javascript spring uh, python then uh, if you want to see this kind of information uh, video i can create another one as well uh, when we click on a button then it going to do um, the same function as uh, shown here which is uh, filtering the information as in here but uh, in a uh, buttons okay so um that's all about it and hope you guys enjoyed this video and it, a little bit um, shorter than the previous videos see you guys in the next video i'm going to give you like more information uh, regarding the react tutorial and if i find something that interesting um, i'll just do it or uh, demonstrate it to you guys see you guys in the next video